Amon's forces arrived here before we did. The temple may already be under his control. Zeratul believed the other Zelnaga were here, and that they would stand with us against Amon. They could end the war. My people could be free once again. Then why have the Zelnaga not answered us? I am going into the Ulnar Temple alone, Matriarch. I do not intend to risk any more lives. You risk your own life on the word of a traitor. He killed your mother, Vorazun. That is true. But he was never a traitor. I do not wish for death. Only to see Zeratul's visions fulfilled. You will return. That much, I believe. Since we arrived here, the Keystone has reacted strangely. It's as if it is attuned to the energies below. Energies below? Yes. Void energies exude from this place. I believe this world is a conduit between dimensions. And the Keystone? Acts as if siphoning these energies. This is entirely different from how the Origin Point information was stored. As if the Keystone was reconfigured for a second purpose. Let us hope that the Zelnaga themselves can reveal the truths you're looking for. My warriors cannot aid me in the battle ahead. This burden is mine to bear. The Starfighters have arrived, and they await your evaluation. It is a good day to die. The skies await. It is a good day to die. Skies await. Adun Toridas, Hyrak. Vorazun, I know not what I shall find below, but I know I must go alone. You are in command of the Spear of Adun now. Until you return, Artemis. I have come seeking this Zelnaga.
it seems fate has drawn us together. We should not attempt it further. The Shrines call this place the Temple of Unification. The Zelnaga are somewhere within. So far, all I've encountered are hybrid. I've been fighting them for days. Progress has been... difficult. The prophecies foretell of two ascended races, working together to seek out the halls of revelation within the temple. Only with both present will the shrines reveal the means to awaken the slumbering Zelnaga. <sighs> I've never cared much for prophecy. And yet, despite our history, here we stand, together. Perhaps you should start. With honor, I lead. Let us make for the shrine. It's ours. It seems the temple has guardians. There can be... Halt! Do you sense that? A great power awakens within this construct. Purity of form. Purity of essence. Prove your strength. Shout. Strength. So the constructs hold the keys. Good to know. Let us proceed. Together, we are strong. These devices emit solar energy. We should gather them. Our knowledge is your heritage. Our path is clear. Look out! Hybrid! I serve my people. I lead. A bold plan. Another construct. We'll have to destroy it to open the doorway. Together. Kerrigan, the construct is coming for you. The future is ours. Starting to like you, Artanis. Far. 
Assemble the keystone and find our way here. Amon indwells my people, possessing them through the Kala. But he has no physical form. If he were separated from the Templar, he could be forced back into the void. Come on, Artanis. We've still got a long way to go. Let's go. It won't be long until our enemy pushes further into the temple. The future is ours. It seems you were correct. Well then, shall we? No time is the present. Explain yourself. Dawn will come. He is the tall Dream are preoccupied. We should engage them while they are fighting the constructs. Together, we are strong. The Tal'Darim are 
mission. Ready your blades, Templar. I come this far. You're up, Artanis. The shrines look like they're covered with pictograms. How do you know what they say? Communing with the shrine is more than reading carvings. Each atom of the stone has been placed with meaning. Purpose. Here, from Alnar, that the Zelnaga began to seed the universe with life. They created us, just as they gave life to a numberless assembly of races in other universes. Every time, they observe and identify the potential of their offspring, never interfering. The infinite cycle will always be the same. Two races are destined to emerge. One, pure of essence, an indomitable spirit capable of great change. And one, pure of form, a being capable of vast psionic potential, able to house the essence of a Zelnaga. and form, the Zerg and the Protoss. But if the Zelnaga do not interfere, then it was Amon who uplifted my people. All we thought was the Zelnaga was a lie. Come on, Artanis. We're not far from having some answers. I believe this must be the final hall. Wait. The doors are open. The constructs destroyed. The shrine is under attack. There can be no doubt. Let's get to that shrine.
With honor, I lead. Our path is clear. The future is ours. With honor, I lead. Our future is as one in the void. of yours have a lot to answer for. Ahead of us, within the Chamber of Ascension, the Zelmaga have slumbered as civilizations grew, fell, and formed again. They will awaken when the two destined races arrive. Then, the elders among them will give their lives to bestow their essence. And pure of form and pure of essence will be reborn as Zelnaga, shepherds of the infinite cycle. So, what do you say? Ready to meet your maker? Indeed. Come. The Chamber of Ascension lies ahead. And our salvation within. Something's not right here.
Matriarch, there is a massive output of void energy spiking from the temple below. Target the epicenter. believe that the moment you're released, your blade will not be in my back. You waste time. Lower your blades. I am Alarak, first descendant of the Taldarim. Amon has betrayed my people. Retribution will be claimed for this, and if your hierarch survives, he will aid in it. Make your decision. You will take us to Artanis. Most wise. I have brought an additional defensive ability online, Matriarch. Please visit the Solar Core to configure it.